Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting integral using complex analysis with contour method and also the residue theorem, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from negative infinity to infinity, and we have sine of x over x squared minus two x plus five and dx. So for this integral, I'll be using complex analysis with contour method and residue theorem. So for this integrand, I'll be calling this f of now z as now then sine of z over z squared minus 2z plus 5 and d now z. Okay, in this case, we can rewrite this numerator part because we'll be using complex analysis, right? So in this case here, sine z. This has to be equal to e to the power of now then i. Uh, z, and then minus e to the power of negative i z, okay. that over 2i. Okay, this has to be your numerator part using complex analysis. And then since we will be using the contour method, right, so we'll be designating this pulse. So in this case, your pulse, since your denominator part, z squared minus 2z, plus 5. If you set this as equal to 0, then we should have two things, right? So one of them is now I'll be calling z uh, plus. z plus has to be equal to 1 plus 2i. And then the other pole has to be z minus. It is 1 minus 2i. Okay, then using this, we'll be using the residue theorem, right? So the residue theorem has to be um, integral from negative infinity to infinity. Then we have this f of z. f of z and now the dz. So this has to be the same as then uh, 1 over 2. 1 over 2i times now integral from negative infinity to positive infinity. And then your integrand has to be one of them is this e to the power of iz part, right? So e to the power of iz over your denominator the same. z squared minus 2z plus 5, and we have dz. And then minus still 1 over 2i times integral from negative infinity to infinity. And then your integral part, the numerator, has to be related to this e to the power of negative iz, right? So the second integrand has to be e to the power of negative iz over same denominator, z squared minus 2z plus 5 and dz. Okay, <clears throat> so I'll be calling the first integral as just number 1. And second one as number 2. Okay, then for the first integral, right? That is now integral from negative infinity to infinity. Then we have e to the power of i z over now z squared minus 2z plus 5 and dz. Okay, for this integral, we'll be using this. Your z has to be just equal to x plus i y. And then this e to the power of i z. Okay, we can represent this as now e to the power of i x minus y. And then let's think about this right hand side, e to the power of i x minus y, right? So for this part, it is getting smaller. As your y becomes large positive. So that's why from this, I'll be using this contour. CR. And then it has to be this rectangle thing. We should have now the zero here, and we have negative R and R. For this contour, we'll be keeping this R to be large, right? Okay, then we should have now I, R here, and this has to be the direction. Okay, then based on this contour, what we can tell is on the horizontal pieces, right? On the horizontal pieces, this absolute value of f of z. 
This has to be now less than or equal to 2 over this r squared. And the imaginary part of now z, that should be equal to just the r. So that's why when your r is getting large, right? Then we can simply say this absolute value of z, f of z, has to be less than or equal to 2 over r squared. Okay, now let's finish this first integral, right? So using the residue theorem, using the residue theorem, then your r has to be the large. Okay, r should be large with this 1 plus now 2i inside inside your contour CR, right? Okay, then we can talk about this integral of the contour Then we have e to the power of iz over now z minus z plus times z minus z minus, and then we have now then dz. Okay, then this has to be the same thing as now then. Uh, we can calculate this as 2 pi i. 2 pi i times e to the power of i z, that over, now the z plus minus z minus, okay. Then we can still calculate this further, right? That should be the same as now then, uh, pi times e to the power of, now then negative 2, times e to the power of i. Okay, that divided by, now just a 2. Okay, so that's why now from the previous observation, um, this limit. So we can say the limit, limit when your r is going to infinity. Okay, then this integral of contour, and then we have e to the power of i z over um, z minus z plus times z minus z minus. And then we have dz. Okay. This has to be just the same as now. Integral from negative infinity to infinity. And then the same expression, e to the power of iz over now z minus z plus times z minus z minus. And then we have now then dz. So that's why now this has to be just the same as this expression. Pi times e to the power of negative 2 times e to the power of i, now over just a 2. Okay, then similarly, we can move on to this integral number 2, right? So the integral number 2, that was this integral from negative infinity to infinity, then e to the power of negative i z over um, the same as z minus z plus times z minus z minus. And then we have, now then dz. Okay, it has to be the similar work, but then again, it should be with now. e to the power of negative i now times x plus i now y. So that's why it has to be the same as now then e to the power of negative i x plus y. Okay, then this e to the power of negative i x plus y, this is getting smaller for the y large negative. Okay, now we can work on the contour. So now we have negative r and r, and we can sort of make your rectangle. And then we have zero up there, and we have now this i r. And of course, it is going to this direction. Then at the same time, we should have now the z minus inside. That is now 1 minus 2i. Okay, this has to be your contour. Okay, what this contour means now going around this pole clockwise. But then again, it will give you negative sign to the residue theorem. So that's why what we need to work on has to be the integral, contour integral 
of now e to the power of negative i z that over okay um z now minus z plus times z minus z negative and then dz okay then again this has to be the same as now negative 2 pi i that times now e to the power of negative i now z that divided by now z minus minus z plus okay so if you keep calculating this then you should have now then negative 2 pi i over now just negative 4 i okay that times now e to the power of okay we should have negative i that parenthesis now 1 minus 2i. So that's why now the final representation of this has to be pi over 2. Pi over 2 times e to the power of negative 2. Okay, that times e to the power of negative 1. Okay, then let's finish the second integral and then eventually get the answer for this original integral. Okay, so for the second integral, now the residue theorem. Based on the residue theorem, then we should have now this contour integral of now then e to the power of negative i z, that over z minus z plus times z minus z minus and we have now then dz okay then this should be just equal to now then negative negative now 2 pi i times e to the power of now then this negative i z negative okay that now divided by now in this case it should be z minus z plus so that's why now if you calculate this, then it should be the same as, okay, negative 2 pi i over negative 4 i. Okay, that times now e to the power of, okay, negative i times 1 minus 2 i. So that's why it was actually equal to, it was equal to pi over 2 uh, times e to the power of negative 2 times e to the power of negative i. Okay. okay, so that's why now. Okay, so that's why now this integral from negative infinity to infinity. And then now e to the power of negative i z that over c minus c plus times z minus c minus and dz. Okay, this was just equal to this pi over 2 times e to the power of negative 2 times e to the power of negative i. Okay, then we are ready to talk about this value of the original integral. So now, original integral should be now this integral from negative infinity to infinity sine x over now x squared minus 2x plus 5 now dx. Okay, this has to be now equal to 1 over 2i. Get that times now pi over 2 times e to the power of negative 2 times e to the power of just the i. That minus 1 over 2i. That times pi over 2 times e to the power of negative 2 times e to the power of negative i. So that's why if you're making a calculation for this, then it should be equal to um, cancel out pi over 2. Pi over 2 times e to the power of negative 2. That times e to the power of now i minus e to the power of negative i over now 2i. So that's why if you're making a calculation for this, then the final answer for the question is uh, pi over 2. Pi over 2 times now e to the power of negative 2. That times now just a sine of 1. 
So the final answer for this question is pi over 2 times e to the power of negative 2 times sine of 1. So pretty interesting integral using complex analysis with contour method and the residue theorem. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.